all let us talk about the management of preeclampsia please note here we are talking about the management of preeclampsia and not of eclampsia this person only has hypertension and proteinuria no seizures so how will you manage so you will stabilize the hypertension you will prevent eclampsia so that it will not progress to eclampsia you want to make sure right you want to prevent the complications you want to deliver a healthy baby and you want to restore the mother's health okay so basically how will you do home treatment what you can do home treatment we already told you she should take high protein diet less salt in the diet <clears throat> she should take calcium right she should take what and all this we have already written in prevention calcium magnesium zinc then uh, <clears throat> um something else we told vitamin a uh, sorry e and c these are antioxidants then um, what else low salt diet okay all this she should take more and then she should take low salt diet right so this and all can be home uh, remedies then if there is any ominous signs like headache visual disturbance vomiting epigastric scanty urine she should come to the hospital how will you manage in the hospital you will tell her to rest you will admit her to the hospital you will ask her to rest rest will increase the renal blood flow then it will also increase the uterine blood flow it will improve, improve the blood flow to the baby it will reduce her blood pressure okay by sleeping you can reduce your blood pressure is it but complete rest is not required okay she can still get up and go to the restroom and all that no need of bed pan and that type of complete bed rest she doesn't need okay and um, the diet should contain daily protein this we already told you you need not uh, restrict fluids they are saying but salt intake usual salt intake it is uh, is permitted but it should not go beyond don't take excess salt okay what are we looking at people management of uh, pre eclampsia in hospital and we are not managing eclampsia please note that okay uh, diuretics only if there is massive edema you can give furosemide okay don't give your diuretics simply and all antihypertensives is standard that you will write right very important you have to write all these names common oral drugs you have to write which are the common oral drugs lebetalol very good nifedipine very good common drugs used in management of preeclampsia so lebetalol is androgen receptor antagonist so basically it's a alpha and a beta blocker calcium channel blocker like nifedipine you can give okay if the blood pressure is way too much that is uh, greater than 160 or uh, greater than or equal to 160 by 110 uh, then you can give lebetalol okay same nifedipine hydralazine remember this how much if you want you can give lebetalol they are giving iv now there i think they told um, oral right but here they are talking about iv lebetalol iv they are giving in hypertensive crisis okay you should avoid lebetalol in pe people who have asthma or cardiac failure guys tell three names of these drugs and you will get marks say lebetalol hydralazine and nifedipine lebetalol hydralazine nifedipine these three drugs you should tell the names okay then nitroglycerin nitroprusside sodium nitroprusside okay if you want you can remember these also nitroglycerin all standard anti angina drugs right you will be able to write that okay then you will monitor her blood pressure fluid intake outtake urine examination edema you will check then uh, you will do eye examination you will assess the fetal well being etc all the standard things you will write everywhere in obstetrics you will write this if you don't write this in obstetrics simply waste go to the exam and write everywhere you will monitor urine blood fetal uh, fluid intake output blood pressure I write everywhere and get marks okay now coming here um, what else see if the pregnancy is beyond 37 weeks you can consider delivery without delay but if it is uh, not at all near the term then you can uh, send her home and you can monitor her okay every week after one week like that you are seeing this is uh, if she is beyond 37 weeks you can consider uh, delivery okay then <clears throat> what is group c see group c they are explaining here in this uh, table so if persistently the bp is increasing you are not able to control it with hypertensives anti hypertensives like lebetalol hydralazine nifedipine etc if there are some ominous signs like visual disturbances restlessness her um, uh, oxygen saturation is dipping she has tachycardia tachypnea right then what you will do you will counsel the couple and uh, you know uh, give them steroids for the maturity of uh, lung of the fetus and then you will plan an induction 
right uh, that will uh, vaginal delivery you can plan or you can plan a cesarean section uh, also okay during this labor you will monitor her blood pressure urine output etc magnesium you will start magnesium sulfate prophylactically you will start so that she doesn't go into uh, seizures right and uh, now when once she delivers the baby again um, you will watch her closely you will continue anti hypertensive drug treatment if bp is high magnesium sulfate you can give for a few hours for at least 24 hours etc if they have severe symptoms remember if a patient is on magnesium sulfate you should always monitor them very closely and you should keep checking temperature lung sounds deep tendon reflexes because magnesium toxicity can happen so you should be very careful when you are using magnesium sulfate so how do you manage preeclampsia you have looked at in this video rest at hospital rest blood pressure everything you will monitor monitor eyes and all you will monitor fetal well being you will monitor then you will give her anti hypertensive drugs lebetalol hydrolase and nifedipine if there is severe edema you can give uh, what did they say the diuretic like uh, furosemide so if it has come to control and it's preterm you can discharge her and ask her to be very careful and come back if there are any omnia signs if it is term you can ask her to stay there and uh, wait for delivery if um, uh, the bp is still high or it is increasing or there are omnia signs then what you will do you will um, in this one if bp is still high then uh, you can again think about delivery if the bp is like increasing if there are omnia signs you can counsel the baby uh, sorry counsel the pa parents and then uh, you uh, if the if it is less than 34 weeks of uh, pregnancy you can give steroid therapy for lung maturity of the baby and you can either go for an induction of labor that for vaginal delivery or you can go for cesarean based on the indications for cesarean okay then postpartum monitoring see here we were talking only about preeclampsia we are saying the patient doesn't have seizures if she has seizures it will be eclampsia that time what you have to do is you'll have to give magnesium sulfate based on this uh, Pritchard regimen or something that time magnesium sulfate will have some rules how to give how much to give that and all you have to look at now look at this how do you manage eclampsia so you will call for help then you will put the patient in left lateral recumbent position so that she will not uh, compress her IBC right then uh, you will maintain airway breathing circulation oxygen you will give her you will keep uh, two wide bore cannulas so that you can give her a lot of uh, uh, drugs whatever is required then Foley's catheter then pulse oximeter everything will keep ready basically you will have to give magnesium sulfate for the control of seizures we are talking about eclampsia here please pay attention here and um, uh, same thing for um, control of hypertension lebetalol hydralazine right suction you should have because she is having seizures right so you should have suction so that she doesn't aspirate she doesn't choke then you will monitor the fetal status yes then you will check her blood, urine, everything you will do, standard things. But what we want to tell you here is the uh, Pritchard regimen of magnesium sulfate for severe preeclampsia, eclampsia. This is very, very important. So you will initially give loading dose of 4 gram of uh, magnesium sulfate IV. Remember, first you will give IV, then you will give 10 gram IM, 5 gram in each buttock. Deep IM. IM you will give next, 5 gram in each buttock. So total how much it became? 14. 14 gram, no? This is loading dose. Loading dose itself is 14 gram, not just 4, 14 gram. Maintenance dose, you will give 5 gram 4 hourly IM. Okay, alternate patak. 5 gram this patak, 5 gram that patak, 3, 4 hourly. Then what is this? Instead of this uh, Pritchard regimen, you can give of some Zuspan or Cybel regimen also you can give, but we are not learning that. Then uh, this is all IV only, but okay. Then uh, if magnesium sulfate toxicity occurs, what will you do? How will you ma monitor magnesium sulfate toxicity? You will have to check the deep tendon reflexes. If there is loss of deep tendon reflexes, it indicates magnesium toxicity. If there is decreased respiratory rate, if there is decreased urine output, if there is chest pain, heart block, so you should be very careful about magnesium uh, sulfate also, right? So how will you manage magnesium toxicity? You will have to stop magnesium and then you will have to give calcium gluconate. Very important people. You will have to give calcium gluconate. How much? IV, IV you will give calcium gluconate 10 ml, okay. If there is something called a status eclampticus, they are giving theopentone and this will have to be done by an anesthetist, anesthetist, okay. See, in this video, we wanted to talk only about the treatment of preeclampsia, okay, not complete details about eclampsia at least. So, hope you have understood uh, how to treat preeclampsia. Bye-bye.